supply chains have an impact on our climate, and at DHL Supply Chain, sustainability has become an important consideration throughout their network. Whilst keeping their employees in mind, DHL is looking to streamline its supply chain process with sustainability at the centre of it all. The last two years have made huge demands on the supply chain sector, but DHL rose to the challenge. DHL is a very professional organisation, a very reliable. We've proven that during COVID where uh, when support was needed in these crisis uh, modes, uh, DHL time and time again could step up, could adapt its, its business to the customers, could help customers uh, to deliver. One of the many reasons for their success is their diverse workforce, which is motivated by the latest technology, a safe environment and opportunities for personal development. I come here, I don't feel the pressure of some workplaces, you know, all the people are like nice and kind and, you know, if you, if you need something, they, they are always uh, like ready to help. They give you a re regular shift and um, they give you the opportunity to sort of like get on and um, you can get more skills if you like, um, what's it? you improve your skills because I've, I started as just a picker but now I'm the fork truck driver. <laughs> I went from warehouse colleague then there was an opening in the training team so I became a trainer, uh, from there there became another opening in the management team for first line manager uh, which I've been doing for the last two years now and uh, I've actually very recently been appointed as a step-up operations manager. DHL Supply Chain prides itself on giving all of its people the opportunity to maximise their skills while engaging in sustainable practices. These include utilising rainwater collection systems and solar panels to reduce its impact on the environment. So in practice, we have the Certified Go Green Specialist training, which is a foundation module and an elective module that we've put in place for the entirety of our workforce. So our board, um, our drivers, our colleagues that are working on the shop floor, and it is meant to contextualize sustainability for them within the roles that they're working in. And we find that that really engages the workforce. People are, are driven, they're motivated, they're passionate about uh, contributing towards sustainability within their own roles. Sustainability and new technology are carefully aligned. How do you incorporate technology in a sustainable way? It's really important for us to make sure that the parameters around which we're implementing technology is right and that it will deliver the maximum benefit for putting that technology in. We've got a whole range of technologies. The, the, sort of the digitalization agenda, it goes from everything from small robots right the way through to sort of multiple robotic systems that fundamentally change an operation. But, but then even, even things like handheld devices, handheld scanners that allow our colleagues to record digitally what they do rather than writing anything down on a piece of paper. You know, our objective is to, to do things digitally from the outset. Whenever we're implementing any technology, we need to be explaining clearly why we're doing it and also how that is going to change our colleagues' roles. So uh, getting that right is really important to the success of any project. The robot's role here is to assist warehouse pickers they do most of the fetching, carrying and lifting, leaving staff to do the lighter, more skilled work. So they don't have to push around really heavy trolleys anymore, so it really helps them. We have quite a problem at the moment with the labour shortage um, in the whole of the UK and actually worldwide as well. So um, to bridge that labour gap, that's where we're looking at technology to be able to do that for us. Efficient technology and a workforce with prospects leads to improved work rates and more satisfied customers. I think the scale of DHL helps us to be able to invest in a whole range of areas, in our colleagues, but also in technological solutions to help us develop in the future. And it's probably that scale gives us a unique capability. You know, the ability for me to talk to a colleague in North America about a, a robotic system that they've deployed um, and to understand the lessons they've learned and apply that in the UK. Uh, I think that is truly unique.